SpaceX has just won a contract that could change the entire future of the company. With Starlink's expanding satellite constellation and the imminent success of the Starship, it seems that the US government is poised to reap the benefits. Let's talk about this major contract and its implications on the global stage. SpaceX has achieved a significant milestone by securing a major contract with the Pentagon, signaling a potential game-changing development upon the successful launch of Starship. Presently, Starship is nearly ready for launch, with operational readiness achieved. However, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, has not yet issued the launch license due to delays caused by the US Fish and Wildlife Service taking their time for assessments. Despite the slower pace at Starbase currently, the dedication and energy of the SpaceX team remain unwavering. They are actively preparing for comprehensive tests involving a fully stacked Starship, hinting at the possibility of a wet dress rehearsal in the near future. Excitingly, there is positive news on the horizon for SpaceX. The company recently clinched its inaugural major contract with the Pentagon. This significant achievement was announced by the Pentagon on Wednesday, September 27th. The contract pertains to the Starshield network, essentially a military version of Starlink. Earlier, on September 1st, a spokesperson from the Space Force confirmed that SpaceX had secured a one-year contract for Starshield with a maximum value of $70 million. This recognition was part of a program managed by the Space Force's Commercial Satellite Communications Office, where SpaceX was one of the 18 companies honored with the award. According to the Space Force, the SpaceX contract encompasses comprehensive services under Starshield, including end-to-end -end service via the Starlink constellation, user terminals, ancillary equipment, network management, and related services. The Space Force, which operates under the Department of Defense and is headquartered in the Pentagon, oversees this contract. Following a previous contract in June, where the Pentagon aimed to purchase an unspecified quantity of Starlink ground terminals for use in Ukraine, SpaceX's obligations in the initial phase of the Starshield contract amount to $15 million by September 30th. This contract is anticipated to support 54 mission partners across all branches of the US military. This achievement is noteworthy for SpaceX, especially considering that the Starshield project was unveiled just last year but quickly garnered attention from its significant US government customer, the Pentagon. Beyond the technicalities of the contract, the public is keenly interested in its implications for individuals and global dynamics. SpaceX's Starlink showcased its capabilities during the 2022 Russia-Ukraine war, being utilized by civilians, the government, and the Ukrainian military. Its effectiveness was evident, although it faced criticism from Russian government officials who attempted to disrupt Starlink services in Ukraine. However, it's important to note that Starlink is a commercial version. If a specialized military version like Starshield is successfully applied, it could substantially enhance the military advantage of the United States and its allies on the battlefield. Consequently, this could significantly bolster the US's position in the world. According to SpaceX, Starshield will initially focus on three main areas, imagery, communications, and hosted payloads. Hosted payloads refer to the satellite bus, essentially the body of the spacecraft acting as a flexible platform. Additionally, SpaceX highlights Starshield as the core of an end-to-end -end offering for national security. This means that SpaceX will handle everything from antennas to satellite launches using their rockets, as well as operate the network in space. Notably, this type of satellite also boasts additional high-assurance cryptographic capability, ensuring secure hosting and processing of payloads and data. SpaceX has developed inter-satellite laser communication links, which are connected to its Starlink spacecraft. This innovation suggests that terminals could be added to partner satellites, enabling the connection of other companies and government systems into the Starshield network. Once the Starshield network becomes operational, it is expected to raise concerns among America's adversaries. In 2022, during the Ukraine war, the impact of Starlink prompted significant actions from the Moscow government, leading to large-scale operations to destroy the system. Now, with the Pentagon's decision to purchase SpaceX's Starshield system, the Russian military must urgently and cautiously prepare, fearing potential implications. Additionally, China has long been suspicious of the possible militarization of Starlink, supported by the US government, which could affect the country's security situation. These concerns are exacerbated as the Starlink network continues to expand globally. In response, China has actively embarked on a mission to deploy nearly 13,000 satellites into low Earth orbit. This initiative aims to directly compete with and monitor SpaceX's Starlink constellations. The emergence of the formidable weapon Starshield has compelled them to explore additional strategies. However, neither Elon Musk nor his associate Gwyn Shotwell have intentions of utilizing their products as tools for violence. In a statement dated September 8th, 2023, Musk clarified SpaceX's stance. When Ukraine requested the activation of the Starlink satellite network in Crimea to support an attack on the Russian fleet, Musk refused. He explained that complying with such demands would make SpaceX complicit in a significant escalation of war and conflict. 
Even with Starshield classified as a military satellite, SpaceX appears focused on utilising it for protection and defence, rather than enabling invasions or offensive actions. For SpaceX, the contract with the Pentagon marks a pivotal moment in the growth of the Starshield project. The Pentagon is currently engaged in crucial programmes related to national security. With billions of dollars invested in building its own satellite constellation, the US military aims to create a network unlike any it has constructed before. Collaborating with Lockheed Martin on this ambitious project, the Pentagon recognises the importance of learning from experts in the field, with SpaceX being one of them. Consequently, future cooperation between SpaceX and the Pentagon seems likely. As Starshield demonstrates its capabilities through various missions, other US national agencies are anticipated to express interest, mirroring the enthusiasm they showed for Starlink in the past. The success of Starshield is expected to serve as a catalyst for the improvement of competitors in the market. Additionally, Washington is actively investing in projects related to military satellite development, catering to both national and private agencies. This strategic move aims to prevent SpaceX's monopoly and represents a significant leap forward in bolstering America's position in the ongoing space race. In any nationwide program, the selection of partners holds immense importance, significantly influencing the program's progress and outcomes. In this context, the Pentagon meticulously evaluated potential candidates, ultimately choosing SpaceX as the winner. The decision was not made in haste. In reality, the Pentagon had been closely monitoring Elon Musk's company and its Constellation satellite service for quite some time. Starlink's remarkable performance in 2022 greatly impressed the government entity. SpaceX's Starlink internet service garnered praise from the Pentagon when it successfully connected US troops stationed in the Arctic. Recently, SpaceX has initiated testing high-rate connectivity to extremely remote Arctic bases. As a result, data speeds at an Arctic base facilitated by Starlink improved nearly 30 times over previous capabilities. This showcased exceptionally high communication speeds. Moreover, Starlink proved to be remarkably easy to set up for military use. During the same period, Musk's Constellation satellite played a pivotal role for the Ukrainian military. It enabled the connection of drones, allowing them to transmit images of potential targets via Starlink-enabled cellular networks. The Ukrainian military conducted approximately 300 information-gathering missions per day, highlighting the effectiveness and versatility of Starlink in real-world military operations. The impressive sophistication displayed by Starlink left Moscow astonished and prompted action from the Pentagon. In early June 2022, recognizing the need for advanced communication tools amid Ukraine's defense against a full-scale Russian invasion, the Department of Defense decided to purchase Starlink satellite internet terminals from Elon Musk's SpaceX. Fast forward to September 2023, SpaceX struck another deal, this time acquiring Starshield. The hope is that this next generation of Starlink will be even more efficient, ensuring enhanced communication and defense capabilities. SpaceX, renowned for its powerful rockets, particularly the Falcon 9 line, has consistently pushed the boundaries. Notably, Falcon rockets have set records, with Elon Musk revealing that by 2023, Falcon rockets had delivered approximately 80% of the Earth's total payload mass into orbit, a feat unmatched by any other space entity. In comparison, China contributed 10%, while the rest of the world contributed the remaining 10%. SpaceX is not resting on its laurels. The company is actively developing Starship, hailed as the most powerful rocket ever, capable of carrying payloads of up to 50 tons. Once Starship is operational, Musk plans to create variants tailored for specific purposes. These include versions designed for Starlink transport, large cargo shipments, and those intended for the Artemis moon missions contracted by NASA. Importantly, the Starlink transport and large cargo variants are likely to be launched using Starshield vehicles in the future, streamlining processes and significantly reducing time and costs. Starlink has proven to be a valuable asset in modern warfare, so only time will tell how effective Starshield will be. What do you think? Should technologies like Starlink be used in war or should they be restricted to civilian use? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.